don't know what it took. It had a big lag. My computer completely fucked up after the intro. But what's going on, everybody? Dan on filter checking out Dance Gavin Dance. Open your eyes and look north. That might be the most regular sounding name I've heard from theirs from them in a while. At least from this album. Because like when I look at the song titles off this album, they're all insane. And I've heard the surprise from Cuba. Don't the Back to the Future. Again, if you want me to remember the exact song title, give me a fucking break. They've got ridiculous song titles. This is the most regular song title. This actually is a sentence that makes sense for a song. Open your eyes and look north. It's like if you're going through something, wake the fuck up. Look ahead. Poetic. That's a normal song title. <laughs> Surprise, I'm from Cuba? What was it? Everyone else has one brain? What the fuck is that? But anyway, this comes from a Patreon slash. Appreciate you, homie. If you guys have any requests, hit me up right there. He is a new Patreon. Let's see what Downtown Battle Mountain has. Again, this will be, I think, the third. I believe the third song I will have heard off of this and it feels like like the more I hear uh, Dance Gavin Dance with Johnny Craig, the more I kind of appreciate it. Because like the first few times I heard it without Tillian, I was like, what the fuck is this? It was still good, but I needed Tillian in my life. Now I'm like, it's been a few songs. I kind of appreciate it more now. Let's see how, let's see about this one. Open your eyes and look north. See? Fucking beautiful. Speaking of Johnny Craig, I think he's the best he sounds on any of the uh, DGD Johnny Craig songs I've heard so far. I think he's the best he sounded. Drummer going in. The lyrics are pretty emotional here. What is this song actually about? Is someone is it someone 
someone's illness or breakup? Someone dying? It's kind of hard to tell. It's, it's a little vague, but it's definitely emotional. What the hell was that? Crazy! Yeah, the more I hear the the Johnny Craig version of DGD, the the more I like it. It's almost to the point where it's time for me to admit that both versions are really, really good. Because I, <laughs> cause I, I think it's because I was introduced to Dance Gavin Dance with, like, Inspire the Liars. So immediately, of course, Tillian and John are what I know. Uh, as Dance Gavin Dance, so the Johnny thing kind of came later for me, and I'm like, oh shit, this, this is a different person. I don't know how I feel about this. They're pretty goddamn good, both ways. Both ways. And I like how the band, they kept the same style, even though they switched singers. A lot of times you switch singers, and you kind of adjust to the new singer, and the sound of your music changes. No, they did the same thing. If you took Johnny Craig off this song, and put Tilly in, you could, the format could be exactly the same. Because John is still in the background intertwining with him. He screams over in the, layered over in the back during the choruses. Just as if it was Tillian. Fantastic. And this is definitely the best Johnny Craig's sounded to me. Vocally. This was perfect. Especially, what was that? The, where was it? Like, about around three and a half minute mark. It's like, he like went in tune and with the rhythm of the guitar at the same time. That was just, one, just completely random. There was no hinting at it throughout the song, and all of a sudden... Did I go far enough? Fucking crazy, crazy, brilliant idea. Again, this is one of the things why I really like them. They season their food. <laughs> they season their food. Like, there's always little details all the time throughout their songs. Thank you for that. I fucking love that. It makes you original. It makes a song feel complete. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. This album actually, since I think it's the third song now I've heard from a, what a, Battle Mountain, what's this called? It's got a weird name. Downtown Battle Mountain, yes. I think it's the third song I've heard off it. This seems like it's a good album. And last I checked, like my normal 15 seconds of half-assed internet research, this might have been their debut album, I think. It was one of their first ones. That's pretty crazy. Because this sounds like a in-their-prime album like in a band in their primes album. They know what they want to do. They know what their sound is. 
and they're like checking every box. The only problem is the song titles are fucking bonkers. <laughs> That's my only beef with it, is I'll never remember the names of songs, because they don't really line up with the song itself. Like, when you hear Inspire the Liars, you know the name of it, because it's in the fucking song. They, they never say, open your eyes and look north in this song. Not once. Not once. No. Unless, unless John slid it in there real quick, but I don't think he did. Also, John's voice sounded way different here. Like, it was still obviously harsh vocals, but they're more rough around the edges. Still sounded good, but wasn't as crisp as the older John. Older? More recent John? Whatever, you know what I mean. The future John, I guess, whatever. The more recent John is much more crisp vocally. But still, another good song. To what seems like a good album. Slash, appreciate you, homie. About to check out one more from Downtown Battle Mountain. See how that goes. <laughs> 